when you allow yourself to make choices, then your choices are based on your motivation. And your motivation is based on your definitions. This is the other way to explain the three part process. Your behavior, your choices are based on your motivations, your emotions, which stem from your definitions, which are your beliefs. So anytime you are making a choice, it is always because you have been motivated to make that choice. Motivation only has two parts to it. This is all there is to motivation. You will always in every single case, you will always choose what you perceive to be the choice that is closest to pleasure and furthest from pain. That's it. That is your entire motivational force. But notice I said you will choose what you perceive to be closest to pleasure and furthest from pain. And that's where definitions come in. Because only as you define what you believe to be pleasurable or painful will you then be motivated to make choices in accordance to that belief. So many Incredibly, times you may choose things that on one level you could survived. say seem to be detrimental or destructive to you. But if you keep choosing it, that simply means that you must have a definition in your belief system 